Good morning, I'm Chaplain Sean Weed, Resolute Support Headquarters Chaplain. This Friday ceremony is different than all the other ones before it because a great many of you are not just recognizing those who have sacrificed for their country. You witnessed that sacrifice firsthand. Last Sunday was both a terrible and glorious day. Terrible in the tragic death of our brothers and sisters. Glorious in the disciplined and courageous action of so many of you. I am so proud to stand among you and be counted among the same coalition as those who gave their life last Sunday. The blood and the lives shed on RS has consecrated the ground, sanctifying the camp that we live in. Flight Lieutenants Alan Scott and Grant Roberts showed us all how to die well. With Flight Lieutenant Phil Williams, somehow they kept that craft together. By their skill, God's providence, or a combination of the two, they placed that craft on a secure post between multiple buildings filled with people and 25 meters from the aid station. Any slight deviation from that path could have surely killed many, many more. Within seconds of that crash, they had an army tearing apart that helicopter to get them out. Keep in mind, the air was saturated with fuel and smoke was coming from the engines as flames began to emerge from the exhaust manifold. But within 20 seconds of that crash, Camp RS had formed its own fire brigade and silence the flames, blitzing the aircraft before it could ignite the fuel. No one who saw the crash regarded their own life, but thought only of those encased in the wreckage. Soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, civilians from every nation charged into the valley of death only thinking of those in the crash. Together, the flight crew and you saved four lives and did everything humanly possible to try to save the others. I can tell you that in the aid station, your medical team and those injured fought with all they were to keep death at bay. One of the injured actually left this life and returned. You even fought off death. In addition, you showed great dignity to those for whom this would be their last day on earth. Your courage, your care, your honor. They humble me tremendously. And I know every service person who witnessed your action and hear of your deeds will also be humbled. And now let us hear about those who gave so much. I'm Squadron Leader Thomas College, Royal Air Force. Flight Lieutenant Alan Scott from London was 32 years old. He studies at Loughborough University before commissioning into the Royal Air Force as a pilot in 2006. After a series of training, Alan was posted to number 33 squadron, where he helped to develop the newly upgraded Puma 2 variant of his helicopter. Alan was undertaking his first operational tour here in Kabul, where he was already so highly regarded, he had been selected to attend the helicopter tactics instructor course on his return to the UK. He died tragically doing a job that he loved and flying an aircraft that he had personally invested so much time and energy into developing. He was the embodiment of the 33 Squadron motto, loyalty. Recently married, his loyalty 
and devotion to his friends, his family, and his colleagues was unequaled. His memory and his contribution to aviation will live on. Squad Leader Nicholas Downs, Royal Air Force. Flight Lieutenant Garant Roberts, known to his colleagues as Roly, was an extremely experienced, loyal, and dedicated loadmaster. Recently commissioned, Roly joined the Puma Force on 230 Squadron just over a year ago, bringing with him 20 years of flying experience accumulated primarily on the Chinook helicopters. As well as Afghanistan, Roly also served on operational tours in the Falkland Islands, Bosnia, and Iraq. The support helicopter force has lost not only an outstanding operator, but a good friend to so many. Since joining the Puma Force, Rowley was instrumental in the preparation of the squadron for Operation Resolute Support, and his lasting legacy will be, will be the professionalism and courage he passed on to all who flew with him, pushing others to achieve their best and never accepting mediocrity. A charismatic man with exceptionally high standards he was never afraid to remind anyone when he felt that they could have done better. This advice, though, was always delivered with humour and his trademark wry smile. A loving husband and father to two children, Garant will live on in our hearts and minds and will be sorely missed by everyone who knew him. Per Adwa Adastra. I'm Colonel Tyler Gabriel, U.S. Air Force, TAC Air. The third stanza of the U.S. Air Force song begins with these words. Here's a toast to the host of those who love the vastness of the sky. To a friend, we send a message of his brother men who fly. We drink to those who gave their all of old. We gather here today to honor the memories of those who gave their all. In keeping with the Air Force Academy tradition, the cadets there have already quietly sung this third stanza to honor Major Phyllis Pelkey and Mass Sergeant Greg Coos. Both of these airmen are serving here to build the Afghan Air Force's capability, advising and assisting the A-1 with their improvements to the Air Force's Tashkil, and both have now taken their final flight home. Major Phyllis Pelkey joined the Air Force in 2004 and served as a force support officer in the U.S. and Japan and on the faculty at the Air Force Academy as a French and German language instructor. Major Pelkey was a consummate professional, a dedicated and engaged leader. Phyllis was also my friend and a devoted officer who was quick to smile, upbeat, and full of life. She leaves behind a husband and two grown sons, one of whom she had planned to commission as a lieutenant after returning from this deployment. Mass Sergeant Greg Coos joined the Air Force in 1996 and served as an information manager and manpower analyst in assignments that included a tour in Iceland. He had arrived for duty at Dak Air only a week before the crash that claimed his life, <clears throat> but he had already made an impression with his attitude and his competence. Mass Sergeant Coos had the kind of personality and attitude that brought out the best in everyone he worked with. He is survived by his wife, also a Mass Sergeant in the U.S. Air Force, and their four young children. Major Pelkey, and Mass Sergeant Coos will be missed, but will live on in our memories. <coughs> Jean Badac from Thales, French Company. Gordon was 44 years old. He served in the French Foreign Legion before joining our large family, Thales and Cesar, in Afghanistan from 2013. Gordon White Kidness, your blessedness reflection through the job of living, your shelfulness will be much missed. The multitude of condolence messages in which you have received show how much so you were appreciated by us all. Gordon, you optimize the sunshine for us. Today, we have a deep throw for you along with the other comrade who tragically suffered the same fate as you. A special show for your family, your wife, Luca, and your two young daughters. 
which give meaning to life, give meaning to death. Ce qui donne un sens à la vie, donne un sens à la mort. Saint-Exupéry. Thank you. I am First Lieutenant Ismail Pamir, of the National Army in Lebanon. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And this week, many Afghan and Yusuf and the policemen and boss got shouted, may God bless them all. We wish to honor the hardest helicopter crashed victims and their families. We also honor the sacrifices that the Victims may bring peace and prosperity to Afghanistan. We in the SIF deeply saddened by the loss of our friends. On behalf of MOD, MOI, people of Afghanistan, our helpful candidates to go to the families and friends of those affected in this tragic incident. And we pray to, we pray for the full recovery of those are injured. Let us take a moment of silence to honor the dead. Captain Joshun, Turkish Army, quoting from Holy Quran, Surat Ekaf, Sand Hills. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, and to all are assigned degrees according to the deeds which they have done, and in order that God may recompense their deeds, and no injustice be done to them. Chaplain Brian Hohalter, United States Air Force, TAC Air. I'd like to read from the 23rd Psalm, the Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Padre Colin MacLeod, Royal Highland Fusilier, 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Let us honour our comrades once again and render a salute at the sound of the last post.
a closing prayer. Almighty God, be pleased to hear us this day as we bow our heads in prayer. Fashion our lives by granting us an abundance of your grace to serve our countries with an honest heart and a determined mind. Be near to each one of us and watch over us in all we do and in all that is done to help secure a just and lasting peace for the people of Afghanistan. Today we gather and remember especially those who so recently gave their lives for this very cause. Major Phyllis Pelkey, Master Sergeant Gregory Coos, Gordon Emin, Flight Lieutenant Alan Scott, and Flight Lieutenant Geraint Roberts. Bless their families, we pray. Be their rock and their comfort through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony.